Hey friends, and welcome to a Cascade Gaming Diablo 4 video. Today I'm going through 5 things you must do before Diablo 4 Season 4. So first of all, Eternal Realm. You need to clear out your bank. Do you really need those 3 ghastly reigns of the ghost steed when you've already got one? Do you really need those random aspects? Do you really need that random gear? Are you going to use it? Time to make the hard choices and get rid of some of that junk. Then head over to the seasonal realm. Once again, do you really need all of that gear? Do you need all of those random dungeon sigils? Do you need all of those ubers? Remember, this is all going to your eternal realm bank and you're going to be really, really pressed for space. So again, time to make the hard choices, time to get rid of the stuff that you don't really need. Did I mention hard choices? You only have 12 character slots, so it's time to make some really, really tough decisions here. Do you really need that character from a couple of seasons ago? Are you ever going to play it again? Are you ever going to level it up? Time to make a decision. Well, farewell Season 2 Sorcerer. We had an absolute blast while we played, but I think it's time to go. Let's delete that character, shall we? We'll do it together. We'll hold each other's hand for support. All right, deleting. Goodbye, season two character. Not gonna lie, this does always sting a little, but we need that character space for our new seasonal character. Now for a not so difficult decision. Well, I guess it might be difficult for some. There are lots of class changes, so what will you pick for your new seasonal character? Are you going to stick with your main? Are you going to stick with what you know and what you love? Or are you going to choose something else? There are so many choices. Barbarian? That seems pretty cool. What about a necro? Have you enjoyed that in the past? What about the good old sorcerer? I know what I'm probably picking. How about a rogue? That seems fun. Or do we go with a druid? Change it up a bit. It's all up to you. Bit of a controversial one. The battle pass. Yay or nay? So you've got all of these levels and all of these rewards with the battle pass. Some of them are really cool, some of them are pretty average, so it, I guess it's really up to you. You've got the non-paid version, and then you've got two paid versions. So we're just flicking through what we got last season, and you can see some of the really cool things that pop up. So you've got town portals that you can choose from, you can choose your, you start your new monuments for when you die, so these come with the paid battle pass, so I guess have a look at what the battle pass gives you and then make your decision. So here you can see the different levels of battle pass. You've got the free one and you get the first three little icons there down the bottom. So your chest, a little mace and a town portal. But with the premium, you basically get every single reward there, except for the accelerated battle pass. So you've got some pretty cool headstones, you've got a horse, you've got all different kinds of gear. The only difference between premium and accelerated is accelerated gives you 20 free levels of leveling up your battle pass rewards. Which, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it in my opinion, but it might be worth it for you if you're not playing heaps. So just make your choice based on the rewards that you want. Lastly, do you want to go it alone? Do you want to play solo? Is solo Diablo your vibe? For me, I like to play with friends, but playing solo can be really rewarding and a lot of fun because you can challenge yourself in a lot of ways. So here's me, playing solo against a Hellside Commander. Pretty fun to see how that I can manage doing this boss and doing all the bobs that it pops up. 
Playing solo can be really cool, and like I said, it can be a real challenge. So it just depends on your style of gameplay. Group up with friends. Mess around with people, have people to chat to, and have people to share the experience with. If you've got a dedicated team of friends that want to play with you all the time, this can be really great. So if you've got friends that you have played with through Discord, or that you've met through the Diablo 4 subreddit, or even met here on YouTube, you can group up with them and play for a lot of fun. Personally, group play is my style. I like to have friends that I can play with and chat with. So having a big group of people can be fantastic. But like I said, solo or group, it's all up to you. So there you have it, my top five things that you need to do before season four starts. Clear your banks, clear your character roster, consider your main class, check out the PTR gameplay from other people. Do you want to do the battle pass? Check out the rewards first. And finally, do you want to play by yourself or do you want to play with friends? Because now's the time to get a good friend group together to play the game together. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative and helpful, and if you did, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more content. I love you all, and I'll catch you really soon.